Hi, this video will show a easy way to build some little switches that can be used either magnetically as well as mechanically which will be a great substitute to read the switches. The items we will need to build the, the switches are some uh, shaving razor blades of the old kind, a pair of scissors, some uh, tape, some uh, heat shrink tubing, a lighter, some sandpaper and a little bit of electric wire. That's how we will proceed. As a first thing, we want to take one blade out of the packet and unsharpen the edges of the blade with the sandpaper to avoid uh, any risk of cutting ourselves with the blade. Afterwards, we will trim the blade. We will first trim out one half and then the other. Each half of the blade can be cut in other two pieces. In this way, from each blade, we will have four slices and this will allow us to make two switches. At almost uh, half a centimeter from uh, one end uh, of the little blade, we will cut a small uh, notch. This uh, will make uh, easier uh, for us uh, to tie the electric wire on the little blade and avoiding the wire from uh, slipping out of the little blade. When uh, we work with the uh, pulse generators, we normally use uh, magnetic switches called uh, reed switches. These kind of switches are uh, quite easy to burn up or uh, very often they get uh, easily worn out. After uh, burning a few of them, I've decided uh, to find uh, a solution and a an easy way to build uh, small switches like that in a cheap uh, and easy way. Also, sometimes in our applications it will be useful to have kind of switch that could be activated mechanically and not magnetically. But at the same time, such a switch should not uh, waste much of the mechanical power of the device. Well, uh, these uh, little switches are achieving this goal. After uh, that we have uh, tied and uh, secured our wire on the little blade, we will slide the piece of uh, heat shrink tubing or uh, we can also just use uh, some tape to cover that part of the blade which will be half of our switch of course uh, the gas in the lighter is finished just take a little break and refill it here we are
after uh, we have done uh, the same thing on both sides we will uh, put them together and with another little piece of uh, heat shrink tubing or with uh, some more uh, tape we will uh, secure the two halves together making sure to leave a gap of half a millimeter one millimeter between the two we can anyway adjust a little bit uh, the separation between the two blades uh, afterwards another little uh, piece uh, in the back side to keep it uh, more tight and we will be done now practically the switch is uh, ready a little bit of adjustment of the blades and I will show you how it can work either magnetically and mechanically at this point we can either uh, fix uh, a piece of wire or something more stiff on the back of one of the blades not to make it bend in these ways uh, you can see it's only one of the blades that activate the switch we can also choose to lay one side of the switch on the surface of the device rotor in this way when uh, one of the magnets uh, will uh, pass under the switch will attract the blades activating the switch and closing the circuit or we can also choose uh, to activate it mechanically like in this case that's it thank you guys for watching